Hi there guys, welcome back to Box Pride. Uh, I just want to take a look at a couple more fights that are happening next weekend, the 1st of March. Uh, the first fight sees Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in the rematch against Brian Vera, who uh, last time out he defeated uh, by decision, but it was, uh, I would say, a controversial decision because uh, I would say the majority of sports writers, you know, a lot of people felt that Vera won that fight. Um, in the rematch, I think it should be a more comfortable victory for Chavez Jr. Um, you know, the re I feel, just my opinion, the reason why this was, you know, so uh, so tightly contested um, and, and a close fight, I guess, uh, compared to Chavez's other fights, um, excluding the Martinez fight, of course, uh, was that he was, for once, in the ring with... A guy who was of similar size to him, of similar stature. He weighed around the same as him. You know, uh, Chavez Jr. I've mentioned before. He's been going in the ring, fighting a middleweight, and coming in the ring more like a light heavyweight. You know, he's he's outweigh he's been outweighing guys by one to two weight classes uh, throughout his career, um, or, or certainly since he's been in the the sort of bigger fights, you'd say. And I feel that that's what's given him his edge. You know, I don't think he's particularly a, a you know a fantastic boxer. Um, I think he's he's still unsure what style he really wants. You know, he really uh, wants to use. Um, and while he's decent, I I still don't know where to put him. Um, I just feel that that the weight you know issue has given him a distinct advantage in many of his fights um, in recent times, and. Um, you know, I feel that Vera was quite often on the front foot in this fight, trying to impose his presence, uh, trying to uh, use his strength. And like I said, stylistically, Chavez Jr., where is he? You know, he in this fight at times, it looks like he was trying to uh, fight like uh, Sergio Martinez, uh, as if he was trying to take something from the beating he got from Martinez. Uh, maybe he was impressed by Martinez's style and, and saw how difficult it was. Uh, to fight against that style and felt that he could do the same to Vera, and it it obviously wasn't as effective uh, as he as he wanted it to be. I I think that um, while that while he was using that style, he was able to to get some counter punches in. Uh, he was able to catch Vera with some nice shots and was able to slip some punches. Obviously, Vera looked like the aggressor. He looked like the guy who was pushing the fight, and he looked like the guy who was throwing more more volume. You know. <laughs> These type of things sway judges' uh, minds and decisions, um, you know. But in this fight, I expect Chavez Jr. to get his act together a bit more. He needs to start using the jab more effectively, particularly more effectively than his than the last fight, because at times, you know, he's walking in just just up like that without a jab. He's not setting up punches. He's throwing hooks. It's not my preferred style of fighting, and some guys make a career out of it. But I think Chavez Jr. really needs to start trying to. Uh, clean up his his style. He needs to get back to basics. He needs to use the jab to set up the punches. Uh, he needs to go back to being on the front foot and using his strength uh, in the fight uh, and trying to hold the center of the ring rather than than backing off. I think that's going to you know show a bit more volume and that's going to would play into his favor. I think if he lands on Vera consistently, he could hurt hurt Vera and it's either going to be a stoppage victory for him or he's going to get a points victory. That's why I'm, I'm expecting uh, Brian Vera. You know what's he got to lose? He's not. It's not as if he's protecting an unbeaten record. He is going back in there for revenge. He will feel there's an injustice being done from the last fight. Uh, he'll want to go in there and he'll want to prove a point. Uh, you know, set the record straight. So I'm expecting Vera to to go in much like he did before. I'm expecting him to go in. Uh, you know, very front-footed, uh, you know, quite aggressive, and he's going to want to impose himself on Chavez Jr. And you know, will will he have learned something from the first fight? Will he, the guy, have learned something from the first fight? This is what you know the, the dynamic we have uh, with rematches. What did each guy learn from the first fight? Um, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm expecting Chavez Jr. to do a far better job, and I'm expecting him to take this fight. Uh, so let's let's see what happens, uh, and, and and if he if he comes through, where he goes from here. Um, the second fight I want to take a look at is Robert Stieglitz. Putting his title on the line uh, against Arthur Abraham in their third fight, um, you know, really, I, I'm not that 
buzzed about this fight. Um, it's it's just one of these fights which I think really, you know, um, Abraham been saying for some time now since he got exposed in the Super Six. Uh, it really is a limited fighter. Um, the blueprint is is really out there for anyone to read. You know, you there's a full booklet on it, uh, and Stieglitz I think has his number. Um, what Arthur Abraham is able to do differently, I don't know. Um, I I don't think he has the stature at that weight. Um, the problem is he's still trying to compete at super middleweight when he's really a middleweight, and he really is being stubborn about that. And I really disagree with it because I don't think he can be successful at super middleweight. If he gets another, if he get, if he wins this and gets a world title, good on him. But I, I really think it, it's you know a surprise he was is able to to get a world title back. And if he has the world title, he won't have it for long. I'll tell you, I can tell that for quite with some confidence because there's guys out there, you know, who would jump at the chance uh, to take the world title off of Arthur Abraham if he was able to get it. I, you know, let's just call a spade a spade. Let's just tell it like it is. At super middleweight, he's just not as competitive at that elite level as he he was when he was at middleweight and he was not banging guys out of there left, right, and center where his power was telling. At super middle, guys are too skilled. They they're using the outside. They're using the jab. They too there's too much movement for him. He's too one dimensional. He covers up too much. He's either attack or defense. He's not both. There's no fluidity. There's no movement in between the transition phases. That makes you very one dimensional. Straight lines, you know, where, where, where more can you, how much further can you go in explaining how um, rigid uh, Arthur Abraham actually looks against these guys these days? You know, the, the fight didn't go the distance last time. I really am not sure, you know, maybe you got a better reason than you, and there's something I'm, I'm clearly missing here um, as to why this fight's been made. Um, I think Stieglitz needs needs to move on, you know, and, and really fight someone else who's going to ch actually really challenge him. And I know it's obviously going to be a big fight in Germany, but you know that's all very well. But you know, ten it tends to be that when a guy, uh, you know, has beaten a guy twice, and it's not as if it's that controversial, um, the guys move on. You know, you you understand that 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 chapter is done. If if. Uh, you know, we're only seeing Groves get another shot of Frost because that was extremely controversial. Um, <coughs> I still think that Groves should have gone for Stieglitz. And if Arthur Abraham got the title, then I think Groves could walk that fight. Absolutely walk it. And many other guys, would, would, like I said, would jump at the opportunity. So, you know, I may be being harsh on Arthur Abraham here, but I need to tell it like it is. You know, I'm not expecting him to win this fight. I'm expecting Stieglitz to, to win this fight. And um, I'm expecting, in all honesty, for it to be... You know, relatively comfortable. Uh, these things happen in boxing. You know, Abraham could do something. Um, I'd be surprised. I really, I would be surprised. I wouldn't go putting any money on Arthur Abraham. Um, but it's up to him to prove me wrong and 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 to, uh, you know, uh, let's just let's just see. But um, yeah, so there's there's two more fights that happen on uh, you know next weekend. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do you actually think Abraham has a chance? Um, you know, if you do, let me know. Let me know why. Give me, give me your reasons. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the fights. This is Boxpread. I'm out.